Good evening, YouTubers. It is sunset in the woods, and I am out in the dead center, middle of it. You can see right over to the right side, that is Cameraman Jack. And over to this side, that is MT Paranormal Life. Please check out their, uh, check out their channels. This is T-Mac. T-Mac, some American experience. Did you hear that? Something got thrown. <laughs> Holding my mic, about to call that out. That's over this direction. Yeah, There's we just kind of a bang. we just had a bang, and we had something thrown here. Okay, we are out in a place I'm calling the Lake in the Woods. Uh, claim two for Jack and MT, and we're hearing some noises, and we are on a live investigation here, and I need your guys' help with this. So. Uh, I need your ears, need your eyes. If you see something, you hear something, drop it in the comment, say something. I got the thermal going. I will post the thermal uh, side by side this in a playlist. Got something moving towards us. I seen a break in the tree light. And we're right at, okay, we're right at the, uh, we are two minutes after the official sunset, so we still have a little bit of light. I wonder if it's that thing me and you chased, ran into. So I'm going to turn my radio down for a little bit. Uh, you'll hear me turn it back on in a little bit. Um, but while I'm near one of these guys, I'm going to keep the radio off so I don't make too much noise. So we're out here at the lake, and over this way is this really neat lake, and you can see the sunset on there, so obviously that must be towards the west. We're in Portage County, uh, again, Claim 2, I'm calling it the lake in the woods. And uh, we were having some interesting noises already. This is freaking nuts. Did you hear me do that call and something? I heard that. You, right before you did, you did it because then we heard that. We're like, wow, he must be pretty far away. And then you whooped. And we're like, oh, wait. <laughs> and then right after you finished, we got a second one. Yeah. And then, okay. Noise pollution stuff. We may hear some trains come by. It's northeast Ohio. Hard to get away from. Okay, so um, so we are within distance of a train whistle. Hold on one second for you. Hello, everybody. If I ever hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All it right. That's good work. And check out Cameraman, Cameraman and Crew's channel, of which I am one of the crew. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Along with uh, Trapper, Unknown Outdoor, and MT Paranormal Life, check out their channels. And Moose, Moose doesn't have a channel though. We also have Moose, but Moose does not have a YouTube channel. Although he's probably the most interesting on all three of us and should have one. Sorry, when I turned it on, we had something thrown through the woods at us and heard a loud bang. Hey, I see right back there, there's a big X straight back there. Gordon? Yeah. I'll do something real quick. Yeah. The camera. yeah, sure. Hey, everybody. How you doing? The cameraman here. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. He does this all your life. <laughs> I'll get away from them while they're doing that. You can hear a train whistle in the distance. Falling in quicksand. So... Again, yeah, we do our hikes year-round. Uh, weather only mildly permits us. There's a big X back there, I can see. try and get my thermal on it here. I was just gonna do that but mine's gonna take a lot of effort for me to yeah you don't well, I know mean, I got my thermal running so I will go back and get him lights yeah I think we all need them I got but I want to go back and I got lights with me I got an I got extra <laughs> in case you need it oh, I'm, I'm good I've got plenty of lights with me but usually uh, 
Yeah. That's a little mosquito pond, and the bugs are bad out here. I'm wearing that camping cologne, heavy, uh, and I'm going to reapply it once I get back because they were buzzing the heck out of our ears. They weren't landing, but just buzzing the ears. There is an Indian mound over around here, too, that I put in a smaller video in the daytime. So he said he heard a growl. I didn't hear it. I can hear an airplane going overhead. towards our lake in the woods. <sighs> it's interesting, really beautiful back here. Um, again, my camera is not doing it. It adds some light, so it's hard to tell exactly just how dark it is. But it's already getting dark really quick. I got kind of it's small, but I have a thermal hit dead center of the screen right now. But I can't make out what it is. And it's not a heavy, it's not something that's giving off heat like these guys. But animal fur will deflect heat. I use my cats as guinea pigs on this. And it is just thick woods. It's a muggy night with a winds light and variable. We're coming up to you can see the lake. And it's real pretty with the glow of the remainder of the sunset hitting it. Bugs coming. They're trying to whisper sweet nothings into my ear again. And look at this is really cool. This little bridge down here. And this little valley it was really cool when I was walking across here. It was a lot more daylight and I seen a couple of deer running through there. So 
again, there's our lake in the woods. Again, we are looking for the animal activity, predator activity, and Bigfoot, Grassman, Sasquatch, and anything else unknown. This investigation is, due, is in correlation with cameraman and crew and empty paranormal life. So, this is a really neat place, really neat place to take a hike, and as I found out the first time I came here, big enough that you can get lost in. There's our, this over here is where I seen some deer. You can still hear some of the birds whistling, chirping. Uh, these guys are coming around, going around the bend. Again, this area is this is like right on the border of Summit and um, Portage County area. I'm not sure exactly which side of the line we're on, uh, but I know this lake is like the watershed for the city of Akron, and I don't have a clue what the name of it is. So, you said. This is beautiful scenery. This is Ohio. This is Northeast Ohio, guys. And I got like straight up a hill here. have a lot of it on. But you're having a blood drive tonight for him. Yeah. No thank you. No feeding the wildlife. Maybe <laughs> I should let this mosquito talk to y'all. He's all like <laughs> oh, all right. Jack, I didn't know you spoke mosquito. That's part of the fun of this. It became my second language these past three years. <laughs> I tell him to stay away. You know the ones that bite, those are women mosquitoes, so of course they're not going to listen to Jack. That's a negative. <laughs> yes, only the female mosquitoes bite. They need the blood for... I had a feeling by the tone of what you were telling us about the mosquito, what it said. We'll get a view of it, but there's a little island. He gave me the middle wing. <laughs> so there's a there's a little island over here. You can kind of see like where those trees are closer. And there's our loons. Our loons are going off. Oh, there were dogs out there on the water. Mm 
more loons. Looney tunes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know they barked. Looney birds. That's kind of why they got the name. Territorial thing. Uh, kind of why they got their name loons, because they are just a touch loony. See, this is kind of a narrow path with a lot of roots on it, and I'm wearing the mucks because there goes Jack whooping. I know why Jack whoops. Because there it is. <laughs> I kill me. You're reading my mind, T Mac. I was about to say that. Oh, mine. There's our lake in the woods. There's a beautiful scenery there. Okay. Now I gotta get moving to keep up with these guys. dark and the crickets are starting to turn on and we're gonna make it back to the parking lot and then we'll do like a round two because MT did not bring some of his equipment and that would be a Canadian goose there up ahead. It smells kind of funny back here. Almost like, I want to say almost like cucumbers. So again, as much as I like the not only the peace and tranquility of the woods and the creepiness, I also love a good joke. Love to put my sense of humor in the thing, so you're going to be hearing that. Uh, I'm 50 years old, Gen Xer, so you will hear a lot of Gen X references in my humor. Hear some traffic from the road over that way. And it's still running. Uh, when I checked, it was still, excuse me, still running at about 78 degrees with about 3,000% humidity. What's the ambient air temperature at like 320? You get my picture, it's pretty steamy out here. And I can hear the cicadas going. Now, oh! I just had a rock thrown at me. It hit the tree right next to me. Huh. All right. 
No. It was hit, it hit this tree right here. It came from in the woods over here. And as you can see, that is definitely not an oak tree. So it doesn't have those. That's not an acorn. No, I heard that sucker. That was kind of big. Whatever yeah, that, that hit pretty loud. It hit right next to me. Wow, I just had one thrown at me. Uh, let's, let's go back to. Uh, right, let's keep going. I'm going to say, evidently, uh, there's more than one. Something wants us to come back, or is it trying to give us the old and stay out? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. You know, the rock throwing has never kept me out of anywhere from going from anywhere. So yeah. I almost think maybe, uh, Watch step right yeah, I think maybe they're, uh, it's just literally a tracking thing. Yeah, or it's some kind of I think they think we're leaving. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like no. And there goes Jack whooping, because there think, it is. I think we're leaving. Yeah. That's what I was telling T Mac. Yeah. Was it one of those where they're kind of like, okay, where are you going? Or it could be like, hey, you gotta stay out. Yeah. So. There's our loons making their noise. Yeah. Yeah, they they sound that way a little bit, but that was I heard it. Those are a hundred percent loons. I hear loons and I heard something else. Almost like a whoop. That's our loony birds. I just heard something here. Just let me know if you need me to hit the light on something. Getting. See it. I'm trying to see if I can get the same yeah. thing. Yeah, all those little black signatures that are all around. I can't tell if that's. I mean, it's obviously that's black heat, right? Yeah. So yeah. They're hotter. That's not. They look like a bunch of little somethings around. Hmm. Interesting. I don't so have it. Better angles. I don't know. Might struggling a little bit. Here, I'm not picking up the same thing. There's our loony birds. Ooh, did you hear that? That was a rock. Just went whizzing through the woods.
Did uh Oh, here goes another one. There goes another one. They're getting launched at us from Yeah, they're going from up here and they're hitting getting launched across the path. I mean, that was the direction it would Turn to see. I got heat signatures on the thing, but Oh, root. About biffed it. Yeah. It's a good thing my mucks are steel toes. Oh, another yeah. one. Yeah, we just had another one. It just hit right over here. That one's loud. Okay, so. I'm not picking up anything. And it's 9.05 at night here. I hear Canadian goose in the background. Well, they must be sad that we're leaving. Ooh. Hey, I got some sort of hit on my thermal over here. It's kind of small. Yep, yeah, it's moving. It's moving. Shoot, I can't see it anymore. It was right over. What's the thing? It moved. Out of the way, but it was hidden right over there. It moved. Oh, okay. What did it? Did you get a chance to see? I couldn't see. It like I couldn't like see. Deer or something? No, it didn't look like a deer, but it it uh it left. It like one. It ducked underneath behind the vegetation. I seen it moving on here. Yeah. So yeah, because I caught the signature and pointed it, and it moved. Okay. Here, Canadians in the background. I guess we'll get moving here because can't. Yeah. I'm just going to keep an eye on this side of the woods here as we walk. you got to try to keep an eye on the path as well, because there's a lot of roots sticking up on it. Sorry, guys.
this. I gotta take my eyes off of there because it's getting dark. I can't see. I just heard something up ahead there. flashlight with me but I'm gonna keep it off for now so we're gonna go back get to the car regroup have a drink and then we're gonna head it back in once we get out of here there is the lake in the woods is kind of neat it's a big it's a good size lake so I can see those two other side. We took a right turn. This is plane two. So these guys know this area better than I do. I've been here once and I got lost. Straight ahead is the car. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, MT's car broke down on the way here, so Jack and MT had to get dropped off, and they got my car. There it is. Okay, guys. Years ago, I had a car stolen from me. Oh, and, jeez. And I uh, found out when I walked out it was American. That's just always a bad feeling. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, drop in the comments what you think. We're going to have a part two of this later. And it'll be even later at night. Much more. Looks like there's a lot of activity. So, like, subscribe, and share. Check out. MT Paranormal Life and Cameraman Jack's channel, Cameraman and Crew. And thank you for watching. God bless you.